for the network shown below draw thevenin's equivalent circuit this is the given circuit we supposed to find thevenin's equivalent circuit at terminals m and n we know that the thevenin's equivalent circuit looks like this that is there is a voltage source known as voc or also known as vth in series with a resistor known as rth this supposed to be at a terminal m and n now let's see how to calculate voc and rth voc is open source voltage or thevenin's voltage is calculated at terminal m and n keeping m and n open this this is vth so before finding vth first we should know the total current which flows in this circuit as we know in minus j10 ohm as it is open no current flows here so current through this branch is zero now we'll see so entire current which is drawn from 10 volt sources flows in this loop so current through this loop i will call it as i so now therefore by applying kvl i can write 10 is equal to 10 this 3 and j4 are in series that is 10 plus 3 plus j4 all are in series into i that is nothing but 10 is equal to 13 plus j4 i therefore i is equal to 10 divided by 13 plus j4 simplifying this we will get 0 0.70103 minus j 0 0.216 amps so now here we can observe that the voltage between m and n or vth is the voltage between 3 ohm register and j4 ohm register because vth is parallel to 3 ohm and j4 so voltage across these two terminal is nothing but voltage across 3 ohm plus j4 ohm so therefore so therefore vth is equal to Three plus J four, that is three plus J four into I, which is equal to three plus J four into I value is zero point seven naught three minus J zero point two one six. Solving this, we'll get VTH is equal to. 2.973 plus j 2.164 that is this is in rectangular form and in polar form we will get as 3.677 at an angle of 36 degree volts 3.67 at an angle of 36 degree this is required vth value now let us calculate rth now rth is calculated as follows so rth is nothing but the equivalent resistance between terminal m and n keeping all active sources set equal to zero so here in the circuit we have only 10 volt source we should make it zero by shorting it in that case this 10 ohm and 3 plus j4 will be in parallel that is 3 and j4 are in series that is 3 plus j4 will come in parallel with 10 
So I can draw the equivalent circuit here. That is, this is 10 ohm resistor, which is connected as it is. Here, this point is shorted. There was a voltage source. Here we can see that there is a capacitor. Its value is minus J10 ohm capacitive reactance. And here, this is M terminal. This is N terminal. To this, I can show it in short. 3 and J4 are in series. I will represent it as 3 plus J4 ohm. Now I will draw this circuit in other way so that it looks easy. Here 10 and 3 plus J4 are in parallel which is in series with minus J10. I will show it in other way as this is 10 ohm is parallel to Three plus J four. Here we can see that the one end is connected to minus J ten. That is, this end is connected to minus J ten ohm. The another end of this is connected to M, and this is N. So now here we can see that. The equivalent resistance between M and N is nothing but RTH which is nothing but 10 and 3 plus J4 are in parallel. That whole combination is in series with this. Therefore, I can RTH is equal to 10 is parallel with 3 plus J4. That whole combination is in series with minus J10. So, simplifying this. RTH is equal to 10 into 3 plus J4 divided by 10 plus 3 plus J4. That is nothing but 13 plus J plus minus J10. Simplifying this, RTH is equal to 2.972 plus minus 7.837 J that is in or in polar form RTH is equal to 8.38 at an angle of minus 69.8 Two, two. This is RTH. So, therefore, RTH is equal to 8.38 at an angle of minus 69.22, or in rectangular form, its value is 2.972 minus 7.83 J. This is Thevenin's equivalent circuit at a terminals M and N. Thank you for watching.